Hey everyone, and welcome to day one of the great challenge. This will be the starting point, springboard, if you will, of me getting a free divine once the derby starts. I won't be spending any money on it. This is kind of what I've been building up to this whole series, and I'm really excited to get started, even though I won't really be able to actually officially get my divine for about another like two weeks yet. The July t July 19th will be when the Great Challenge ends. Hopefully that will be the day that I'll go ahead and I'll open up the Horns of Plenty. It'll just depend on kind of what I'm doing right then because my schedule is going to start getting really crazy. So I'm not sure what day in particular I'll open up the Horns of Plenty and get my Divine, but we'll see. So anyway, here's the Great Challenge. Let's go ahead and get started. I don't know what my objective is on here yet. I'm really not liking this new layout. I mentioned during testing, part of my feedback was that there's a lot of dead space right here. This new layout is just very reminiscent to me of the mobile version of Horse and like how these boxes here, everything's really big and clunky like the menu and I kind of have this fear that Horse might be sort of doing a, a complete overhaul of the website that it'll look like the mobile version. I just don't think this is as clean as it could be. I much prefer having all the objectives laid out for you in one glance instead of having to click this arrow to go um, to scroll through and then this will be where the uh, help the community objective will appear once I complete these three objectives. But anyway, that's just my thoughts on the event. It's kind of me neither here nor there. But anyway, so my first objective is sell 20 droppings at once via the store. And from international, I know that you can complete these out of order. I'm pretty sure all of them, but uh, let's just go ahead, read them all, give them mashed horses between four and six years old, find one aging point. I'm probably going to forget what these are anyway, but anyway, let's go ahead and sell 20 droppings to the store. You have to sell 20 at once. Don't try selling like 10 in one go and then going back and selling another 10. You have to sell them at once. So we're going to click 20, sell that. Yep. All right. Let's just go ahead and confirm this. There's that one. Thank you. Go to the next one. Give a mash to horses between four and six years old. I should have plenty of mashes, I'm fairly certain. All right, four and six. Let's see. These, are you between four and six? No, you are not. You could probably use the age search. Oh, that's, okay, that's not going to work. That horse is six years and eight months, and this horse is two years and eight months. That's a big gap, so I don't have any in that farm. Do I have any here? Probably not. Uh, that one's definitely not. Let's try this one. Four years and eight months. Okay, this one will work. I'm not even going to work you. I'm just going to give you the mash. That should have completed that objective. Yes, it did. Click on that. I also don't like this. This is, okay, so I must have completed this objective as well unfortunately because otherwise this is one that I would have put out towards the community because this would have been a really easy one to do so because these objectives can be completed out of order and I did this on international earlier I had like a really easy objective of just um, it was to get congratulated six times and I would have put that out towards the community but I didn't click to um ask for help right away and it got completed when like totally unbeknownst to me I just went to the page and it was completed because it just got completed when I was just doing daily stuff and posting in the forums or whatever so that's a bit unfortunate I would have liked to have put that out put that out towards the community because it would have been something easy for somebody to do and get a bonus for the derby but oh well that's I did it, so yeah, it's completed. So I'm gonna wait for a while. I'll have to see if I can get a bonus for the Derby. And if you wanna don't know what the Derby bonus is, it works like this. It will cover up the hole with the lowest number of value, which in this case will be the three hole, like here. So when I use the bonus, it will cover up the three hole. I'm just using one bonus right now. You can use multiple bonuses in one turn. So when I go ahead and I throw the ball, it's guaranteed to land in one of the higher numbered holes. Now it only lasts for one turn. As you see, the bonus disappeared, but you can use bonuses multiple times throughout the race so you can use them during different turns if you want and you can use multiple bonuses in one single turn like right here I'm going to use two bonuses which means it will cover up the three hole and then one of the four holes because the four hole is the next lowest numbered value and this is ideal for making your horse move faster 
that'll be nice to get those if you want to get bonuses for the derby. But anyway, that's day one of the great challenge. It was pretty easy so far. I'm really excited to get started. Looks like the goal on here, the horseshoe goal, is 107,000 horseshoes versus the, I think, 1.4 million horseshoes on international. And what this means is that once we get 35,000 horseshoes, we'll get two free races for the Derby. Once we reach 71,000 horseshoes, then we'll have three free races daily. And this 107,000 goal will be four free races daily. So it'll be nice to collect as many horseshoes as possible in order to reach these goals. And that way we can get free races for the Derby every day. And if we look down here, these are the horseshoe goals that you'll have to reach in order to unlock the special offers. You have to get 40 horseshoes to get the open, open five, get one free. You'll have to get 80 horseshoes for the open four, get your fifth one free, and then the 115 horseshoes is open three, get your fourth one free. And on here, the bottom is you have to get 145 horseshoes in order for the open two, get your third one free. So that's what this two equals three means. It means open two, get your third free. So that's, that's how that special offer works. So I need 145 horseshoes. And I'm pretty sure that in the past great challenges, that basically means that you had to complete every single daily, all three objectives daily. And that will get your 145 horseshoes because if you look right here there's actually only 12 prizes 12 puzzle pieces which means that if you're just your goal is just to get all the prizes you only need 12 days worth of objectives you wouldn't have to log in the the full length of the contest because I think we have like two extra days of the contest but if you want all these horseshoes you will pretty much have to do every single day's worth of objectives so make sure you log in you complete all your objectives so you can get as many horseshoes as it takes to unlock this final special offer. But anyway, guys, that's the start of the Derby and I'm gonna leave off there for today. Good luck on the great challenge. Make sure you get your horseshoes needed if you're trying to get this special offer to get Caryopsis once the Derby starts. So I hope you guys have a good time, good luck, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.